because things pile up and the stress piles up and the anxiety and the messiness and it's just like a vicious cycle hi guys welcome back to my channel so today i am going to be decluttering my iphone if you've watched my previous videos you know that this month is all about decluttering my entire life i've decluttered my laptop which had eight years worth of footage in it and last week i decluttered my entire closet i will leave links to those below if you're interested so just like my laptop and my closet decluttering my phone is another thing i've been putting off for a while and today is the day that i organize this mess so as you can see i have almost 11,000 photos and videos on my phone i'm almost out of storage and everything is just a mess i mean the first page may look somewhat organized but if you flip it over I just have random apps everywhere and it's just not a good look. I don't even remember some of the apps that are on here to be honest. So we're gonna get through all of that today. I do a lot of content creating so a lot of my time is spent on my phone. I want to make sure I have a space that's clutter free and organized. I've been watching a lot of phone decluttering videos as motivation to get it done on my own. So I'll be sharing all the tips and tricks I have with you guys. Now for my screensaver, I want to make like a digital vision board for both my phone and laptop background. I'll probably do like a laptop customization video soon, but that way every time I look at my phone, I can get motivated. Okay, I got my coffee full of uh, lipstick. First things first, let's look at our storage. Here's a quick tip. If you go to photos, review personal videos this actually shows you all your largest videos it's definitely a faster way to clear out your videos that are taking up the most space instead of trying to locate them in your thousands and thousands of photos in your albums <laughs> what is taking up all my excuse me okay this is surprising my apps is actually what's taking up most of my storage And then it's my messages, what? <laughs> Automatically remove all your messages and attachments that were sent or received over a year ago. I think I'm gonna enable that because apparently that's taken up a lot of my storage. You can also review large attachments so you can see the photos and videos that are taking up the most storage on your messages and consider deleting them. Okay, so the first step is going to be to go through all the apps on my phone, clear out the apps I don't want, and categorize everything I do want in its appropriate section. You can also offload the apps that you don't use as much. I'm definitely going to be doing that. So you just go to general, iPhone storage, and then let's say I want to offload iMovie, you just click on offload app. Pretty much what that does is it removes the storage of the app from your phone. It'll still be there. You just have to click on it again to reinstall it, but it also keeps your documents and your data. See, so now if I go to iMovie, it's still there. I just have to re-click on it to install it. I actually noticed that some of these apps have automatically been offloaded. I don't know if the iPhone does that when you don't click on an app in a while. The first thing I'm going to do is decide what I want and what I don't. And then I'm going to categorize everything using the shelving method. I don't know if you guys heard of this method yet, but I am so excited to start using it because it makes everything super organized, super aesthetically pleasing. Is it aesthetically or aesthetic? aesthetically so calendar google calendar is life i'm for sure keeping that snapchat i don't use as much but i'll keep group me group me facetime whatsapp twitter tiktok okay so this whole social page i actually use i don't really pay attention to the news so i'm just gonna keep one of them I will remove this. I actually downloaded this app in an effort to help me pay more attention to the news, but it didn't work out too well. So we're just going to remove that altogether. Music, voice memos, iTunes store. I feel like I don't use the iTunes store. Can you even remove it? You can. Okay, so I think the iTunes store is something I am going to offload. Perfect. Shazam, I definitely use. 
Clock Weather Notes, Safari, YouTube, Calculator, Yelp. Okay, I use all of these. Photography. Pick Stitch, I feel like I feel like pick stitch and repost and insta size I don't use as much anymore. Same thing with Dropbox. So we're just gonna offload all of these apps. Dropbox, I actually don't use either. And it's full, so. <laughs> so for my photography, I'm definitely keeping Airbrush and Lightroom because I use these two the most. But for the pick stitch, the repost, Insta Size, Dropbox, and these two right here, I'm offloading them. I do use them every once in a while, so that's why I don't feel the need to delete them. But at least I know it's not taking up data or storage on my phone. Health. Apple Watch, Fitness. I'm actually turning all my notifications off because I hate that little red dot that pops up. I don't know how people can go on with their lives having like 2,000 notifications just popping up in red on their home screen. That just like, I can't do it. Apple Watch, Fitness, My Fitness Pal, I need to get back into. True Fusion, I don't use anymore. We're gonna remove that. LVAC, yes. Planet Fitness, no. I don't use this one either. Headspace for meditation. I use it every now and then. Same thing with Map My Run. So I'm just gonna offload these two. Alright, so I don't use these three anymore. The 15 seconds of fame I don't use anymore, but I'm just going to offload it for now because I have videos on there that I don't want to lose. Moving along, second page, oh boy. Okay, I don't even know what half this stuff is. What is shortcuts? What, what even are you, what? 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 Create shortcuts for things you do every day? What do you mean? Okay, I'm deleting this. Translate. Eh, eh. No. Okay, I have my bank stuff over here. Let's see, Grubhub, I don't use. PayPal, I use. Cafe Rio, Starbucks, I do use. Yogurt Land, I have a card for that. Groupon, I actually don't use anymore, so we're just gonna remove that. Ooh, same thing with care credit. I haven't used that in years, so let's get rid of that. App Store, obviously, and then all these I do use. Google Drive, hmm. So I'm definitely gonna keep the Drive and the Docs. Doodle, I haven't used since like college, but I feel like I will use it again in the future, so we're just gonna offload that. Sheets and the slides, though, I only use on my laptop, so we're just going to get rid of that. Extras, find my iPhone, that's important. <laughs> okay, I'm going to finish going through these apps and deciding on what I want and what I don't, and then I'll come back to reorganize and recategorize everything, which I'm excited for! Okay, so I'm all done offloading and deleting the apps that I don't want. I went from four pages down to a page and a quarter, which is pretty good. So now what we're going to do is put everything into its appropriate category. And then after I'm done putting everything in its right place, I'm going to do the shelving method, which I will show you in a second. Also, I'm capitalizing and spacing out all my titles. I think that looks so much cleaner and, you know, authentically pleasing. How do I want to do this? Okay. 
Okay, so this is where I'm at so far. I have social, music, daily, photo, health, bank, productivity, and extras. And I really like the look of these titles just spaced out like, hi guys, my camera died, but we're back. I really like the look of these titles just capitalized and spaced out like that. It's a look. Okay. So now what we're gonna do is something called shelving. So pretty much what that is, is you're gonna grab three of your most used apps in each section and place them outside of the box. So for example, in social, my most used apps are gonna be Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube. So I still have a social tab over here, but I'm just placing my most used apps outside of that. It's honestly more convenient that way because you're not double tapping each time you wanna open your app. I feel like sometimes I wanna post something on my story, like something that's happening in the moment, and I'm like, wait, 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 tap, tap, tap. Okay, you know what I mean? So like, if it's just outside of the box, you could just bam, and it's right there, it's open. I don't know if that's dramatic, but I think saving a tap or two <laughs> is a little bit more helpful. And that way your most used apps that you use on the daily aren't getting lost in the boxes that you're sorting them out in. You're not constantly having to look through apps to find it. But yeah, so for my social, my most used apps are Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube. I cannot wait to turn all these notifications off. It just looks so ugly with all these red marks everywhere, but we'll get to that, okay? So music, obviously I use my music the most. Shazam. And voice memos. However, I do need to move my daily to the top and move social to the second row. I'm also organizing it based on what I use the most. So priority wise, it goes daily, social, Hmm, actually. So it'll go daily, productive, social, and so on. So the columns are based on priority and then the rows are gonna be based on the most used apps. All right, so here is how it ended up looking like. We have daily, productive, social, photo, bank, music, health, and extras. And I took out the three most used apps from each category. And then at the very bottom, we have my email, text messages, and phone calls. Now that we're done with that, the third step is to turn off notifications. This seriously, distracts me so much it's ridiculous so i know it's gonna save me a lot of time just turning off my instagram and my tiktok notifications specifically i don't really use facebook so whenever i get messages i don't feel the need to open them just because i'm not into the app as much but i honestly didn't realize how much having my notifications on wastes time and distracts me and i honestly hate having all these numbers all over my screen i don't mind it for my text messages and my gmail just because i do need those reminders but for other things things like Pinterest for example that is just unnecessary and it just looks messy in regards to Instagram and TikTok it just distracts me because I feel the need to go on Instagram whenever I get notifications and I just know it's gonna save me so much time and distraction turning them off so in order to do that you just go to settings notifications and you just click on each app that you want to turn notifications off for so the first thing we're going to do is turn it off for Instagram because Instagram is a major distraction for me. I 
I'm gonna keep the notifications on for my Gmail and obviously my text messages, but my Hotmail can go off. Yeah, so I'm pretty much gonna turn off notifications for everything except for my Gmail and my text messages. Pinterest needs to come off. I barely use it anyways, but I get so many notifications from there. See, that looks so much better and cleaner and it's gonna save me so much distraction. Okay, so now that we're done clearing out and organizing all our apps and we've turned off our notifications, the next step is to dig in to our photos and videos, which is honestly the most tedious part for me. My problem is I have so many of the same or similar photos. I don't just take one photo, I take 50 photos and they're all similar, so then it's like, which one do I keep? <laughs> so as you can see, I have 10,541 photos and videos as of right now. I already started organizing and sorting everything into its own album. If you have thousands and thousands of photos on your album like I do, the best way to clear it out is to just sort everything out into albums. And then the photos that I don't want to delete, but I either already posted or I don't want to keep on my phone, I will move them to a flash drive. There's also random albums that get created by my iPhone, so I'm just going to delete those. Deleting the album doesn't delete the actual photos from your phone, but I just want to have all the albums organized instead of having random albums on here like Pickstitch and Instasize. It's just going to make things messier for me. So I have everything sorted out into albums right now, and then for the sake of this video not being 15 hours long, I am going to go ahead and clear these out on my own time this week. Okay, moving on to step four. I think this is step four, but what we're going to do next is clear out our notes. Let's see how many notes I have. Okay, so I have 55 notes and 13 that need to be deleted. I'm actually pretty good with clearing out my notes. The only thing I tend to do is if I need to take like a reference number or something super quick, I put it down in like a random note section. Now this next step that I'm going to mention, a lot of us don't think about or don't realize often, but it's clearing out your following list on social media. That can definitely affect your mindset as well as your distraction. If you're not following as many people, you're not gonna be on the apps as much. And also you won't be comparing yourself to people as much. It's really important to stick to a following of people that motivate you, that are positive. You don't want your newsfeed to be filled with junk and negativity because that definitely has an effect on your mindset. Another thing you can do to declutter and organize your phone more is to clear out or sort out your music as well as your contacts. I honestly probably have people in my contacts from high school that I haven't talked to in like five, six years and there's no reason for me to still have their contacts on my phone. To be honest, there's names on here that I don't even remember. That's how you know it needs to be cleared out. If I don't remember who you are by your name, <laughs> you needs to go. So right now I have 474 contacts on my phone and I definitely am not still in contact with 474 people. Let's clear that out. Okay, one final step before we are finally done is to go through your widgets, which is on the first page here. So right now it's looking like Siri suggestions, obviously photos, because I was clearing those out. And then we have the calendar, the weather, and the news. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to remove all these stacks and then add the things that I use the most. We'll go to edit, customize. Here you can search widgets. So we're going to go weather. Let's see. Definitely my Google Calendar. I check that every day. Let's go my fitness pal, prayer times. Let's do notes. Maps because your girl is directionally challenged. I actually suck at directions. I need a GPS everywhere I go. 
Okay, I'm going to remove the maps from the widgets just for the purposes of this video because it shows my location and I don't want anyone to stalk me. What else do I want? We got weather, we got Google Calendar, we're going to have maps. Um, 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 um. We got notes. Let's add music. I'm happy with the way this looks right now, so I'm going to leave it at that. But here is a um, final look at the phone decluttered. <sighs> you guys, this month of decluttering has honestly been exhausting. I realized after this decluttering series that I have to declutter as I go and I can't go years without doing that because things pile up and the stress piles up and the anxiety and the messiness and it's just like a vicious cycle. So I'm so relieved and I'm so happy that my life is decluttered I'm all clear and not frazzled up here. I definitely think having everything clutter free in place and organized helps with not only your mindset, it also makes accomplishing your goals less stressful. But yeah, now I know I need to declutter my life a lot more often. I need to declutter as I go. The longest amount of time I plan on going without decluttering is six months. I cannot go longer than that. But yeah, this is definitely a weight lifted off my shoulders. I'm so happy everything is nice and decluttered now and I'm ready to take on the new year. Speaking of the new year, I am making a resolutions slash plan with me video. I'm gonna show you guys how I organize and I plan out my year, my month, my weeks, my days, pretty much everything from my new year's resolutions to how I plan out my schedule daily and the best ways you can organize your schedule in order to stay accountable and accomplish your goals. So be sure to check that out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful. Be sure to like and subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye.